Thermal pollution is a process where the natural temperature of the water is changing either by natural or artificial means, either directly or indirectly from an outside source. The most common source for the problem associated with thermal pollution are industries. The increase in temperature causes an increase in average temperature of the water, which is detrimental to most of the life in the water. As the temperature of the water increases, then the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water in decreases as well. As the amount of dissolved oxygen decreases, then less oxygen is available for the aquatic life to respire and causes a rapid decrease in the population of the fish. The bad part about the decrease in dissolved oxygen is that as the fish population decreases, in addition to the excess energy provided to the algae population, increases as well. As the amount of algae increases, then the purity of the water in areas such as treatment plants, core fires, oceans, etc., are a periphery problem. So eventually the water quality will become so poor that the water will no longer be drinkable for humans. By means of extrapolating the data by means of partial differential algebraic equations, it was found shallow lakes are eutrophic due to nutrients. Apparently, shallow lakes tend to have a complex structure and a high rate of productivity, which is still a current focus in research. Since humanity has caused much problems in contamination with aquatic bodies, then serious measures will have to be taken to reverse contamination already in the water. The contamination in the water includes 0.25 milligrams per liter of cyanobacteria, bacteria which receive energy through photosynthesis, and 0.202 milligrams per liter of phosphate concentration because it makes the leaves green. Factors which accelerate the process of eutrophication include solar radiation because there is an increase in the temperature. According to the statistics, as the rate of flow of the water increases, then the phosphate concentration increases as well. To begin discussing about the effect of thermal pollution on humans, according to research from China, thermal pollution increases mortality and morbidity rates. Even though thermal pollution is not hot and popular topic, it's worthwhile to let anyone know about how detrimental it can be to the environment. Factors which are currently being regulated are vegetation and waste heat reduction. Additionally, China is a growing country which continues to grow and urbanize. As a result of this urbanization over the years, China has become a huge consumer of energy which is caused directly from economic growth and would become an urbanization. In fact, the mean temperature increase was 0.011 degrees Celsius, which means assuming constant temperature increase within 50 years, the global temperature could rise 5.5 degrees Celsius, which would cause dust storms, the vegetation of the land will die in areas in the north such as Nebraska and New York will be on their way to becoming deserts due to loss of water. By 2100 it has been calculated that only a 1 degree Celsius increase would cause 140 Earth's water to go away. So imagine how much water would be gone if there was a continual increase in the Earth's temperature ranging from 2 degrees Celsius to 5 degrees Celsius. Then we will only be squeezing the only water we have to live without of the Earth until there is none available for anyone. However, the evaporation process will take a long time, but by increasing Earth's temperature, we will, are only begging for Armageddon to come and molding our apocalyptic demise as human race. The process of thermal infrared remote sensing is being used in the city of Simon, China, to analyze the amount of heat energy used in areas in China to draw links between areas of energy consumption and the industrial sources. Finally, in the high temperature period, both the air temperature and the water temp surface temperature increase. By the use of reservoirs such as dams causes the natural water temperature to increase during the winter, which only accelerates the depletion process of dissolved action. With the increase in temperature during the winter, fish populations will only be more likely to die out, and additionally, not only will the water be affected, but the seasonal cycle will be disrupted as well, which will affect the cycle of vegetation till the earth and biodiversity. If we do not stop anytime soon controlling our energy usage, then our planet may be dry and be void of any signs of life. Every day is an opportunity to turn our priorities around and get industry out of our lives so that the world may not come warm and more water will be saved. Again, we are in control of the fate of the planet.